History has shown us that when it comes to ways of torture and execution, people can come up with some horrifying and gruesome methods. One of these torture and execution methods was the notorious impalement. It came in many forms and variations, but the gist involved the penetration of a human by an object such as a stake, pole, spear, or hook, often by the complete or partial perforation of the torso. It was used as punishment in response to crimes against the state across a number of cultures as a very harsh form of capital punishment. Impalement was also used during times of war to suppress rebellions, punish traitors or collaborators, and punish breaches of military discipline. There are instances of the impalement being used as punishment for heinous murderers, where punishment as beheading or being broken on the wheel were regarded as inconsumerate with their crimes. Now, you may think a person was simply impaled on a sharp stick, but that was a rather quick death. This method ended up killing the victim too fast and was more used as a displaying of dead bodies. You wanted the victim to be alive as long as possible and have plenty of time to regret his or her crimes. This is why you would use a smooth, thick pole with a narrowed end, but blunt. One end of the pole would be embedded firmly in the ground. The pole and the entry point are then smeared with fat or grease. The victim is held above the pole and placed down on it. Now the victim is lowered down until they can stand on their feet or tiptoes. The pole is in so the victim can't step off even on the tippy toes because too much of the pole is already inside. But to keep it from going further in, the victim has to stand there as long as he or she can. Now the victim can't stand there forever. Eventually, the victim's feet would slip or they would begin to slag, making the pole penetrate deeper inside the body. Because the pole is blunt, it does not penetrate any organs, it just pushes them aside. As time goes, the grease and fat mixed with the blood would attract flies and other insects who would have eaten their way into the wound to add to the torture. This could last from hours to days until the victim was finally dead. You can imagine the pain and suffering this caused. Now this first way of impaling was a longitudinal impalement. There was also a transversal impalement. In this method, a sharp stick would be impaled through the victim's abdomen or chest, through the back or straight through the heart. Another variation of impalement was hanged by the ribs. In this method of impalement, an iron meat hook was forced beneath a person's ribs and was hung up to die slowly. This technique was used in 18th century Ottoman-controlled Bosnia but the practice was also used in Dutch Suriname, which was a Dutch plantation colony, to punish rebellious slaves. Now this would not be an impalement video if we did not mention Vlad the Impaler. During the 15th century, Vlad III, also known as Dracula, Prince of Wallachia, is credited as the first notable figure to prefer this method of execution during the late medieval period, and became so notorious he was given the nickname Vlad the Impaler. Following the multiple campaigns against the invading Ottoman Turks, Vlad would never show mercy to his prisoners of war. Most of them would suffer impalement. The capital of Vlad's Principality of Wallachia would eventually become inundated in a forest of 20,000 impaled and decaying corpses. Vlad's victims were impaled from either the frontal or the rectal impalement method, which consists of a wood or metal pole being inserted through the body, either front to back, or vertically through the rectum or vagina. The exit wound could be near the victim's neck, shoulders, or mouth. He was known attending mass impalements while feasting and drinking, watching the whole gruesome ordeal that was happening in front of him. Now remember, this is one of only many torture and execution methods of the past. Join us in the next video on Fascinating History Channel when we will cover another notorious method, the breaking wheel. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these.